Did you know that life can get really busy? But we should make time for Jesus. That's right, I'm Buckle. And I'm Isla. And welcome to The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Link Show. Today we're learning that although life can get busy, we should always make time for Jesus. And so we've got a heap of fun things coming up today. Isla, what are we doing first? First up, we've got a really special craft and that will remind us to make time for Jesus. That's so true, it's going to be fun after that. We're going to be looking at all of your arts and crafts from last week. We love looking at all of your artwork because you are so talented. After that, we've got today's animated Bible story. And then make sure you're paying attention because right at the end we have today's Bible quiz. So what we're going to do, we're going to get started on today's craft that looks like this. It's a clock. Now there's two versions you can see on the screen. There's one version with a bit at the bottom which will let you stand it up. And the other one is without a base. You can hang it on the wall. We'll show you what that looks like in just a second. But while we get started, how about you go check out Preach Part 1. Okay, have you ever had to help around the house doing chores? Here at our place, we have a rule that on Saturday mornings, we all get in and we help get the house clean. So we get our front entryway clean. That's where the kids take their bags and their shoes off. And there's always sand on the floor from our youngest who plays in the sand pit. We get the toy room cleaned up because all the toys get spread all over the house. We bring all of our dirty clothes down to the laundry so that we can wash uniforms to be ready for the next week. We go outside where there might be soccer balls or things that we've kicked around and we put everything away. I go out and I'll mow the lawn and I'll edge trim. We'll get inside and we'll clean the kitchen. We'll get all of the dirty plates and cups from all around the house from when we've had a meal with popcorn watching TV earlier in the week and we'll get everything clean and we'll all work together getting the house sorted. That's a part of what it is to be in our family. And then I know for my kids when they come home from school they've got to get their homework done. My daughter does dance and so there's so many different different things that we have to do every single day. We even have a list on our fridge so that we know what we need to do every morning before we go to school. So it's getting up, it's having breakfast, it's packing our lunch, it's brushing our teeth, it's all of the things that we have to do when we live our lives. We all have to do those things every single day. And I know when I look at the list of things that we have to get done, the list is big. There are so many things that need to get done just for us to live our lives. We've got to wake up, we've got to get ready, we've got to get clean, we've got to eat food, we've got to brush our teeth, we've got to pack our bags. There's so many things that life can get crazy full. But here's the thing, sometimes life can get so busy that we actually forget to stop, pause and think about what is the most important thing or person in my life? What should I be giving my time and my attention to? You see, one of the things I love to do when I get up in the morning is spend some time praying with God and asking him how I can be a better person that day. I love listening to my audio Bible and listening to what the word of God says. But it's hard sometimes when life gets so busy to make time to remember to do the most important things. Now, I know that if I don't actively stop and make time for Jesus, to actually make sure that I am stopping and making time to spend time with Jesus, it's really hard to do because you'll get so caught up doing all of those things that we just spoke about that you'll get to the end of the day, you'll be exhausted, you'll be laying in bed and you'll realize I haven't spent any time with Jesus. You see, for me as a dad with my wife and I got my kids, although I've got lots of things I have to do, I've got to work, I've got to make sure that we pay the bills, I still have to make sure that I spend time with my family. We have to sit down and we watch a movie together. We'll go out to the beach when the weather is nice. We'll go outside and sit around a little campfire that we have just to make sure that we stop and we spend time together. You see, spending time with the people that are the most important in your life doesn't always just happen. It needs us to actually do it, to make time for those people. And a little later on, we're going to take a look at a story in the Bible where these two ladies had an opportunity to spend time with Jesus while he was here on earth. And they both choose different things. We're going to see what they chose and what we should choose when it comes to our every day and spending time with Jesus. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. Welcome back 
everybody, we have done our craft. Now Isla's got the version with the back on it. See how she stuck it and so you can actually make it so it stands up. And I've got the version without the base so you can just hang it on the wall. But I've gone with blues and greens and I've done the cross in brown because I think that's sort of the color of wood. And uh, instead of going white for the snowman, I had some fun. I went orange. I think mine looks fun. But Isla, what have you done with yours? I started with two colors on the words, purple and orange. And for the cross, of course, I also did oh, the same. Oh look, we both did orange for the snowman. Oh, I'm gonna make yours stand up right there because it looks so good. And while we look at that, let's also go check out your arts and crafts. Welcome back, you are so talented. And right now, pay attention, it's time for today's animated Bible story. Say hello to Jesus, the Son of God, the Savior of the world. And while Jesus was here on earth, he would travel from place to place, teaching people about how much God loved them and healing their sick. As Jesus would travel, with him would be the 12 disciples, as well as other followers of Jesus. And in that second group, were two ladies named Mary and Martha. Now Mary and Martha were sisters who lived in a town called Bethany and they were good friends with Jesus. Now one day Jesus and his followers were traveling through Bethany and so Mary and Martha welcomed Jesus into their home to come and eat with them. And once Jesus came inside, Mary sat at his feet and listened to everything he said. But Martha got distracted with all of the work around the house serving everybody that was there. And after a while, she got angry. She went to Jesus and said, Lord, don't you see that I'm doing all of the work by myself while Mary sits here not helping? Tell her to come and help me. But Jesus answered her, Martha. You are anxious and worried about so many things, but there is only one thing that is the most important and Mary has found it and that will not be taken away. You see, Martha let all of her worries take her focus away from Jesus, but Mary realized that Jesus was the most important thing. And so she sat at his feet and listened to every word that he said. Can you imagine having Jesus, the Son of God, coming to your house to spend time with you? What would you do if you had the opportunity to sit down at the feet of Jesus and just spend time listening to him? You see, Mary and Martha both have the exact same opportunity. One decides that she's going to sit at his feet and spend time listening to him, making sure that she makes Jesus the most important person in her life. Whereas the other gets so caught up doing all of the things that still need doing. We still have to clean the house. We still have to do our chores. We still have to do our homework. You can't not do those things because they are important, but we have to make a choice. What will we put as the most important? important person in our lives because it can be so easy to only do the things we need to do but not spend time with the people that we love spending time with our family spending time with maybe grandparents or uncles and aunties maybe your mum or your dad you see we all have people in our lives that are important and I know for me I have to make sure I spend time with my family no matter how busy I get they are more important than the jobs and for me Jesus is the most important person of all. And so I make sure I spend time with Jesus every single day to show him I love him and because it helps me to become a better person. And you have this chance to be either at a church or a Christian school where you get to spend time learning about Jesus, hearing people like me tell you that Jesus loves you, but you still have to make a choice. Are you going to stop in the craziness of life and will you spend time with Jesus 
yourself? Will you speak with him, which is prayer? It's when we just talk to God like we talk to our friend. Will you read your Bible to learn more about who he is? You see, we can't make that important for you. You have to make that important for yourself. And so that's my challenge for us today. Are you going to get busy and caught up in the craziness of life? Or are you going to stop and make time for Jesus. I know for me, making time for Jesus is one of the most important things in my life. And I challenge you today to stop and do the same. So let's all say this together. It's the big point. On the count of three, let's all say, let's make time for Jesus. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Let's make time for Jesus. Welcome back. I hope you were paying attention. Isla, what's the time? Bible quiz. Bible quiz time. We're going to ask you five questions. Now, every time we ask you a question, we're going to give you two possible answers. If you think the first answer is correct, put your hands on your head. If you think the second answer is correct, put your hands on your shoulders. Here we go with question number one. In today's story, there were two sisters. What were their names? Was it Mary and Martha or was it Justine and Jackie? You've got five seconds. Isla, what's the answer? Justine and Jackie. No, it's Mary and Martha. Good try though. Let's go with question number two. Who came to visit them? Was it the Easter Bunny or was it Jesus? You've got five seconds. Okay, Isla, what's the answer? It's an easy one. Jesus. It was Jesus. That's right. Here we go with question number three. In this story, what was Martha doing? Was Martha trying to organize everything in the house or was Martha sitting with Jesus? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? Was she sitting with Jesus? No, Martha was doing everything in the house instead of sitting with Jesus. I know, but it makes the next question easy. Question four, what was Mary doing? Was Mary doing all the housework or was Mary sitting with Jesus? You should get this one right. You've got five seconds. Isla, what's the answer? Sitting with Jesus. She was sitting with Jesus. And question number five, the last question. What lesson can we learn from today's Bible story? Is it that we should always make the house clean or that we should always make time to spend with Jesus? You've got five seconds. Isla, what's the answer? That we should always make time for Jesus. That's right, because we should always make time for Jesus. I love that we learned that life can get busy. There are things we have to do. We have to do our homework. We have to keep our rooms clean. There's lots of things we have to do. But we should always make time for Jesus. That's right. I'm Buckle. And I'm Isla. And we'll see you next week on The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Bye. Bye.